Welcome back. Well, a little bit busier across the area with regard to showers and thunderstorms, and that looks to stay that way at least through tomorrow morning, maybe into the afternoon hours. And then by Friday, we're going to get back to the typical summer routine, but a hot one today. But notice it's been clouding up across the area. Storms are moving in. So let's take a look at the water vapor imagery and get it over to the key wall. And that ridge of high pressure, as we mentioned now, has drifted far enough to the west to open up the door for this trough to drop into the area. And that's why we've been forecasting enhanced rain chances late today, tonight, and going into tomorrow. And oh, by the way, this is also helping to supply a monsoonal flow out in the west that's you know, make it more interesting for our friends over there. But on the Doppler radars, the threat of severe weather, mainly north and east of us. We had a squall line that was up by Shreveport around 2 or 3 this afternoon. It's reached already all the way down to the I-10 quarter and continues to move along at a pretty healthy clip. Some strong thunderstorms, but none severe. Some wind gusts in the 40 mile per hour range, certainly possible. We'll dial into Power Doppler 3. Most of the activity in St. Landry Parish has moved off to the east over to a Point Coupee Parish and points to the east. Strong thunderstorm activity, uh, but diminishing in intensity, but heavy downpours just about reaching Crowley through Esterwood and then back through the Jennings area as well. Heavy downpours around Morse and then farther south and west, just east of the Lake Arthur area. Now, Gaydon, it's about to dump on you if it hasn't done so already. So some beneficial showers and then we'll just look ahead and we can see this is heading toward the Kaplan area probably in the next 15 to 20 minutes and then eventually Abbeville. Question is, are we going to see any of this activity in Lafayette? We are seeing a little bit of an outflow boundary moving across the area. So we do think we're going to see some shower activity. It's been strong storms all the way down through Cameron Parish. Uh, the marsh getting us uh, some needed moisture, but a lot of our gardens would uh, also prefer the same as well. And again, you can see not a whole lot going on from Lafayette on southeastward. The bulk of the energy beginning to fall apart as we were expecting later today, but we're setting the boundary for additional showers and storms to develop possibly overnight tonight. You can see on the enhanced imagery how the storms have been moving to the south and redeveloping farther to the south. We open it up and take a look at the tropics and we've been watching one tropical wave that's been crossing the Caribbean. No major important updates with this, although we do think it still has a low chance of developing as it moves off to the west northwest. A new low on your screen, if you can spy that way out here in the eastern Atlantic. We spotted that yesterday with a low chance of developing, but now about a 40% of medium chance of developing in the next week or so could threaten the Caribbean perhaps as a tropical system. The other one that's in the Caribbean, that should head its merry way through the Bay Campeche and over toward Mexico. So let's track the moisture and the Euro model has been on this one and captures that uh, system out in the Atlantic and kind of moves it uh, farther to the east through this weekend. Here's the tropical wave making landfall over here by Mexico. And this one looks like a tropical storm here as it goes through the Caribbean. This is, gets us to next week, seven days down the road. And I normally don't show any thing beyond seven days, but for interest purposes, this uh, system develops this into a, a probably at least a category one hurricane in the Western Caribbean. Too early to tell if there's going to be a Gulf system or is going to be farther south. This is one model solution. We're going to have hundreds over the next week, so we'll just watch the trends and we'll update you, of course, tonight at 10 and watch it moving forward. Right now, no tropical activity expected in Louisiana for the next 10 days. You can take that to the bank. Scattered storms possible overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. That's going to be a high rain chances, some activity in the afternoon, but this forecast could really bust and we see all the storms overnight tonight ending early tomorrow and then we have a stable atmosphere. So that's the way it goes in the weather world. We'll go for pretty good rain chances, 60 to 70% overnight tonight. Warm and humid as well with rumbles of thunder in the vicinity and some locally heavy downpours and the same goes for tomorrow, especially morning hours. Temperatures top out only near 90. Might stay in the upper 80s if we're lucky, but if the sun comes out in the afternoon, it'll be back up to about 92 or 93 degrees for sure. As we move forward, still a pretty good chance of splash and dash activity Friday, but rain chances toning down as we head into the weekend and a typical summer forecast continues for the foreseeable future, but with afternoon showers and storms with the exception 4th of July and the following Friday look nice and dry, but also very hot. That's it for weather for now. We're going to have more coming up a little later on.